Domega Logai of Yahweh El Elyon Elohim is always alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. A training in righteousness, that the man of Lord God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto Lord God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or very accurately handling this very great, unique, infallible, and inherent great word of truth. Glory be to my Yahweh Sitkano, to the highest, and peace be unto the mankind on this earth. To those who believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, by faith alone in Christ alone. And great goodness and goodwill to them who love to walk breath by breath in the cherishing and in the nurturing of the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit. Dear brethren, one more day being renewed in our lives to the praise of His glory, to redeem some Kairos moments in this chronological time given for us in the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit as such. We have to be constantly in the controlling mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit, to be led, to be driven, and to get into mind, for which cause we in this great and unique dispensation of the Church Age have been led for the greatest experiential sanctification after the process of positional sanctification by faith alone in Christ alone and thus when we reach back home to the ultimate sanctification. The responsibility of the believer in this intercalate period wherewith Lord God the Father in heaven has given in every believer's life to be indwelled by this Trinity wherewith the main purpose is to be with Lord God the Holy Spirit as Son has expounded the Father, so Lord God the Holy Spirit is going to reveal us unto all the truth, honoring God the Father and Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, both of them through our lives. Thus, the exhibition of Lord God the Holy Spirit in this church age, through the various gifts, particularly the permanence of the spiritual gifts, the right work of the pastor-teacher, without having errors, without having the things pertaining to ignorance or arrogance. The right bona fide duty of the pastor teacher is to study and teach these words and to produce in you that which is right. Thus we have been called for you to look upon the process of exegeomai in yesterday's tape because as many have been led by the Spirit of the Lord of a God, they have been called the children of the Lord of a God and thus to be led under the Spirit of Lord God the Father in heaven for the great and true and unique purpose which has been ever given for us is nothing but to walk and to live and to peripatao, which is nothing but to be in the sphere of all the days of our life, in great conduct, in great pilgrimage trip, and in great purpose, for which cause you and I have been kept alive to the praise of His glory. So, dear brethren, the privacy of our priesthood, which has been given for us to confess our sins through rebound, we have been given to come back to worship that great Lord as per 1 John 1 9 and be filled with the Spirit and perform that which is right and perfect in the sight of the Lord our God all the days of our life. So, dear brethren, we shall have a word of prayer and come back and continue in the subjects where yesterday we were looking particularly in the terms pertaining to Ephesians 5 that the great and the multitude things of the Lord of a God has to be expounded through our lives, have to be thought through the proper manner of life that we are going through. And many of the people who don't understand about these things have entered into the pulpits without even realizing the great and the true purpose of their life on this earth, thus wasting their valuable time in useless and worthless things. But we shall not be so. Every day is a precious one. Every day we need to redeem the time in the praise of His glory according to His work. So, we shall use the privacy of our priesthood and come back and learn that which is prepared and kept for us in today's spiritual manna in eternity past. So, we shall have a word of prayer, dear brethren, and come back and continue about this subject. Sanctify yourselves to look upon the pallid wonders of the word of the Lord of our God. Thus, what Lord God has prepared and kept for us in today's spiritual manna, we shall dig and take it up because every day is precious in His sight. Every day, without fail, Lord God comes to teach His word and we shall not let go. 
though there may be few moments let's redeem it to the praise of his glory we shall have a word of prayer infinitely divine holy father as we go to study these things father we pray that lord god the holy spirit will enlighten and challenge us by this message in christ's name we pray sovereign lord amen the main problem in the present christendom there is no proper exegesis Christ our Lord our God says in John 1:18 to exegeomai the scriptures which is nothing but the origin of the word for exegesis if we are dear beloved children of the Lord our God and if we have been placed over here to imitate God the Father in his teachings then it's for sure we need to come for exegeomai without the process of exegeomai we cannot understand every word as Lord God the Father in heaven has stated through his son particularly in Matthew 5 verse 17 through 20 not even an iota or carira shall that be gone far less we can let go each and every word without having any significance in it and thinking that we are really feeding the flock because of such great ignorance and arrogance and errors in the pulpit teachings we haven't come up to the point where Lord our God wants in 1 Timothy 2 4 none to perish but everyone should come to the thorough knowledge of his glory the knowledge what he talks over there is epinosis the full knowledge the epinosis wherewith we have been given to reach the standards of maturity the pastor teacher being a dean and every believer being a professor to the angels and and the church being a classroom or the university where they have to teach to the angels and the angels are rubbernecking to look what the pulpits are going to teach thus it is the bona fide duty of the pastor teacher to expound that great things as translated in Hosea 812 and what we call as Robi Riba and that is nothing but abundance of the 10,000 myriads of his thoughts and that's what we have been given with the proper exegetical study of the word in the proper word called as categories of the word of the Lord of a God thus expounding word upon word line upon line with proper categories this proper categories are nothing but being based upon the original Hebrew Greek and Aramaic we have been given this privilege to learn to study and to perform these things very accurately with proper exegio my thoughts and this is what it is the great categorical subject where with you and I have been given in this church age to learn about them and to teach about them and to inculcate them if we are truly the followers of his word and that's the problem with us we haven't becoming to imitate God the father imitate the word in Ephesians 5 1 talks about to represent the Lord of a God in his way of living on this earth as per we know in John 10 he says I am the good shepherd I shall lay down my soul that's the duty of every believer to imitate Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the day moments we went to preach the night moments he came to redeem in the prayer and that's what we need to redeem and that's what we need to imitate even in Isaiah 53 he says it is he through whom I shall prosper all my delight he shall fulfill all the delight all the pleasure of me and that's what we have to be when we have been given this great bona fide work of the pastor teacher our duty is to be there to perform these things but we have noticed in our present Christendom though it is Kathab Emmet the spirit of the scripture of truth though it is many riba ribo which is nothing but great many things have been declared for us yet we are ignoring them on this earth without having proper knowledge of which cause we are in the terms to be used more specifically apart from exegiomai the word known as dispensations iconomas people think following the seven Schofield edition of the terms pertaining to dispensations is enough but that will not give you clear and exact and precise knowledge we need to look upon the age of Israel the age of church and the age of eschatological events in in the age of Israel from Ab Adam to Abraham one period from Abraham to Malachi the other period but when we come to the church from the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ till his resurrection and ascension one period where we find in the terms called as hypostatic union and from resurrection and from ascension till to the point of the pre-canon period and the post-canon period that's one period where prior to the pre-canon period we have many things particularly the work of Lord God the Holy Spirit symbolized in many ways and after the post-canon period when the gift of tongues and other things have been seized when he writes in Ephesians 
chapter 4 the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit distributing several gifts we have the point over there the right duty of the pastor teacher the copulative conjunction Kai being replaced by hyphen which is nothing but according to Grand Village sharp rule the both belong to one person therefore the duty of the pastor is nothing but to teach thus the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit is nothing but to teach and to expound that's what we need to read in John chapter 14 the work of Lord God the Holy Spirit is to expound and to teach and that's what it is the ministry wherewith we have been given as a paraclete guide the one who is beside us to comfort and the one who is in us to teach according to the ways of the Lord of a God to console us according to his knowledge to teach us according to his mind and to expound the scripture according to his purpose and that's what it is all the time to remember it is his will because it is his grace because it is for his glory the people who don't understand about the simple things and they come to the pulpits and they want to teach whichever it is there's a blind can't lead another blind therefore you need to be given the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher and it's a burden to you to carry it and many people don't understand about these ways yet they come to the pulpits they think they're serving the Lord but serving not the Lord in a right way is an absolute sin and that's what it is if you're not serving the Lord of a God in according to the integrity of his truth you're going to end up in lies upon lies so dear brethren the working ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in this church age is to give you the proper enlightenment in the power of the word and to teach you to understand with the proper exegesis with the right word known as dispensations after the post canon period after AD 96 and make every believer to present in the presence of Lord God the Father not only to be made perfect but while on this earth being given for us a burden a burden is nothing but the great commission Matthew 28 verses 18 through 20 which is nothing but to make disciples that's what our great commission is to make mathates and how by teaching them the word what it has been translated to teach or Christians in the Greek it is called as mathates that is what to make them disciples many people don't come to such great burden because they are not interested to look what is to become disciple they are not interested to make what it is to be called as a true Christian and if you are a true Christian you need to be a disciple if you aren't a disciple then you can never be a true Christian that's the problem with us in the church age where many people are not considering this simple fact for the first time in the book of Acts chapter 11 verses 23 to 26 in the Antioch the place where they were they were been called as Christians when for more than one year they have taught to them the right word of the Lord of a God they have taught to them after teaching and training for more than one year then those disciples were been called as Christians and the creation is awaiting for the manifestation of this adult sons Huyos. and the power that has been given for us a designation is techna and the word techna meant to say that we have the power to come every day to learn the word of the Lord of our God and to graduate and to become that which has been demanded in Christ in eternity past to the praise of his glory if we haven't become techna then we can't become huyas but the church is calling for us to make disciples if we aren't making the great word of the Lord of our God to be inculcated in our pulpits through the right procedure making them disciples day in and day out that's the right principle of the church starting a church or ma maintaining many churches is not a big point but becoming faithful enough and holding to the duty of the pastor teacher teaching shepherd will call for you to produce every believer perfect and complete and because of that reason in this church age every believer has been indwelled by the Lord God the Holy Spirit in fact indeed by the Trinity for the simple point to make them to understand in clear terms what it is to be called or to be noted as that the way they shall speak about the things of God the Father very plainly that's what we have been read in John 16 25 when the spirit of truth will come it shall reveal unto you all the truth and number one in that it is from the birth till to the last point what we call as the words which has been recognized for us in the church age from his birth incarnation his crucifixion his resurrection and the words pertaining to ascension and session that's the first point and then afterwards we are going to learn about the mystery doctrine of the church age the mystery doctrine of the church age which is so much essential wherewith we are going to come to learn about the great things of the Lord of a God which have been designed and kept for us in eternity past that's what the right duty wherewith in this church age we have been given the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in enlightening us in 
the words pertaining to Bible doctrine. So this both things are most essential for us. Thus the paraclete guide which has been given is to make every believer perfect and complete according to the thorough knowledge of his glory. And that's what we have been given in this church age, the unique help, the help which was not in the past but now it has been made known for us in the present. And that's the right ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit for us. And that's the right bona fide gift of the pastor teacher only to a male believer. If they have been thinking it has been given to a female believer, this bona fide gift of the pastor teacher, they have absolutely mistaken. If ever they may think the gospel has been bought by the lady, in fact indeed virgin birth of Mary, because of her Christ came, then absolutely it's a nonsense. It's an absolute nothing but shearats of the teachings which want to support that women also can have this bona fide gift in teaching. Not at all. The things pertaining to Bible doctrine, when the work of the Lord of our God has been finished, he doesn't even call her as mother, but he calls her as Gune. Take hold of this woman. Dear brethren, we have many things to learn. But the traps being laid by your own consciousness, becoming guilt for your own consciousness, enjoying your terms pertaining to your own lies, because of your arrogance and ignorance, you have went come up to learn what is the truth in Christ. And that's the great problem for us. You haven't come to learn what is the truth in Christ. Because of your ignorance and arrogance and the people are interested only happy to talk about the translations, but they haven't come to look upon the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic, what it could mean for us in the Bible. And that's the problem for us. They forgot the mission to be called as a Christian. If ever you are, you need to be a disciple. If you aren't a disciple, then you can never be called as a Christian. If you haven't been born as a technon believer, you can never be called as the words what we call to be for you as huyas, adult sons. And that's the problem for us. And dear brethren, there are great many things, the great completed things of the Lord of our God declared for us through His Word. And that we are not making it up. Wherewith we need to be thoroughly available to the praise of His glory. We aren't making it up to the highest. We haven't come to that which is right and perfect in the sight of the Lord of our God to the highest. And that has become a great problem for us in our pulpits. The thing wherewith Lord God the Holy Spirit has been given for us to communicate the truth is not been taken to the core. And thus, rather than using Lord God, the Holy Spirit, it has been abused by not having proper understanding of the scriptures, by not having proper understanding of the gifts. And they have just come to talk even though the, some of the temporary spiritual gifts have been seized. They are just looking upon to continue upon those temporary spiritual gifts. And what is that? Speaking in tongues or miracles or healings and performing the deeds wherewith they are absolutely vain in the process of understanding such things. And this is how these people they have come up in our pulpits. Rather than knowing and using the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, they have come to use them in the terms pertaining to vain glory on this earth. When we come to the book of Ephesians, we have the permanence of the spiritual gifts, evangelical work and the pastor teachers, but they have failed in that. They have failed to expound the word. They have failed to expound the teachings of the right mind. They have failed to do that which is right and perfect in the sight of the Lord of our God. And yet they claim Christianity has not come to its peak, though we are 2,000 years. The failure is on the failure on the recognition of the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher, which is a burden to take and to communicate the truth to the highest. And yet, we are able to find in this church age many men who do not love the word of the Lord, our God, to the highest. And thus many people who have come to the pulpit not recognizing the great and unique will of Lord God the Father have come to such extent that nowadays even the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in their lives has been absolutely blasphemed. 
And this is a very great problem in the present Christendom in our pulpit. Thus we are not able to grow up, neither we are becoming the way and the life wherewith they could come and enjoy the true growth in Christ. They are becoming hurdles for others. They are neither entering, neither they are making others also to enter. Because they themselves are not disciples, they are not making others disciples. And how can a blind lead another blind? And how simple and true it is for us in the New Testament as well as in the Old Testament that we have been given the endowment power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. The enlightenment power ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. Yet not recognizing their importance, not recognizing their differentiation. Men have come to enjoy the details of life on this earth in the terms pertaining to their vain glory. This is what it is. It's a very great pain in our lives that though much has been given for us and much has been expected from us, though the very many great things of Hosea 8-12 have been given for us, they are counting and considering it has to be kasab zor. They are counting it has to be something useless and worthless. They are just counting it to become as being a foreigner, as being an alien, as being a prostitute. The base where they have to build upon the word of the Lord of a God has been removed. And that's the main problem with us. They're counting for their own filthy liqueur's sake, entering into the ministry and not having proper knowledge about the word of the Lord of a God, trying to handle those things for which they are answerable to the Lord of a God to the highest, and they need to pay that great fine in the sight of the Lord of a God. And many people who don't understand about these simple facts, they think they can come to become shepherds, they think they can come and train up the shepherds, Ultimately, a blind can't lead another blind, and both of them will end up in ditch. This great and unique ministry of the church age, where with the Kathab Amath has been given for us, the writings which I've been enjoying is the writings of the Lord of a God, and we deal in the terms pertaining to know that we are dealing with Lord God, who is Lord God of a spirit. He is a Lord God of spirit and biblical truth all the days of our life. And if you're not able to come up in those terms, if you're not able to meet according to His standards, if you're not able to perform that which is right and perfect according to His glory, then we are here to pay a huge prize. The prize of perishing souls. The prize of making the believers to become still numb. Still feeding them with milk, not even able to feed them proper milk. Far less they could grow from milk to bread, from bread to strong meat and train them up according to the standards of Bible doctrine. When will the experience in this experiential sanctification, the complete way where Lord God, the Holy Spirit, should operate in us thoroughly and perfectly in the ways that we walk, in the deeds that we perform, and in the march that we take in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, when will it happen? How many days more you want to enjoy the days of this life in the power of your flesh, under the influence of Cosmos Diabolicus under the influence of devil, under the influence of flesh. But you have been said, you have been purchased with a great price. You are now the true children of the Lord of a God. Therefore, we need to glorify the Lord of a God in our flesh, thus demanding that we need to walk in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and overcome the world, the evil, and the flesh. Dear brethren, we need to be very careful about these things. We are dealing with the true Lord of a God. The Lord God who says in Psalm 77, 13, His ways are always into the sanctuary. That's a wrong translation in the English. But in the Hebrew, it's Kodesh. Kodesh meant to say holiness. His ways are always in holiness. His dealings are always in the path of holiness. It has to be all the time in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to perform His deeds in the terms of holiness. That's a simple way he says he is holy, so we need to be holy. The character, the conduct, the pilgrimage trip, the life that we are leading through, all the days of our life should be led in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, for His holiness. And there can never be anything apart from that. By with you can think you are able to perform the deeds of the flesh and you can think you are looking into the deeds of your roles in nature, in area of your strength, in area of weakness and you want to perform good deeds and you want to say, Lord, we have been led in the holiness of you. Just forget it. You may say, we have performed your words in the street corners, we have performed in your name, this deeds, that deeds, but the Bible says for us, 
I know not who you are because you're workers of iniquity. And that's the problem for us in the church age. People are performing according to their own standards, but the Bible calls them, these are the workers of iniquity which don't have any standards at all. Anomias. I haven't known you because you don't have the standards of norms and work where I have chosen you in a past past to the praise of my glory. How many days more, though we have been given 2,000 years past, we are not able to come to realize the importance of Bible doctrine, the importance of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the importance where with you and I can walk in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, breath by breath, and trample Satan under our feet. How many days more you have been ignorant about these facts? So many great things of the Bible have been declared for us and how many days more you want to count it as a strange thing. If you believe, then you perform, but you don't believe. How can you believe if you haven't heard? How can you hear if you haven't been taught with proper exegeoma, with proper terms of exegesis in our pulpits? How can you believe them? If there are no proper exegeoma preachers, how can you come to know what is exegeoma or what is exegesis? The solution is very clear because when you're coming to the pulpits, you know not know that you're having the bona fide gift of the pastor teacher. Thus you come for the sake of your survival on this earth. You haven't come to take this burden. You haven't come to look upon this burden. You haven't come to enjoy the great privilege in Christ that has been given for us in this church age with a great burden laid down upon your shoulders. You haven't come for that. And yet the name of the Lord of a God has been trampled under your feet. You're taking the milk, you're taking the wool, you're taking the meat, you're taking everything from them, squeezing their blood as well, and you're trampling them under your feet. And this is a great strain for us in our pulpits that we are facing today in this church age terms. We are thoroughly not able to consider, dear brethren, what is the believer's duty on this earth under the influence of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, where it have been said, Grieve not, Lord God, the Holy Spirit, squelch not, Lord God, the Holy Spirit, but rather be controlled of the Spirit, breath by breath, and do that which is right and perfect in the sight of the true Lord of our God. We are not performing these things any longer in this church age. You need to think about these things. The power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, which has been given to honor God the Father and to glorify Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this earth, is not being done completely through our lives. It's a great pain when we look. So much has been best out believing that we will be the people to teach the truth in spirit, or under the influence of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and the right biblical truth. But yet, these are men who haven't loved to perform that in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Because they're much happy to consider their life in the terms pertaining to lies rather than truth. The so great many things of Bible doctrine, they're counting it for lies. They counted it as a strange thing, Kazab Zor. And when will they come and put the foundation, as the word could say for us to be, doctrine of truth? As the words what we read in Daniel chapter 10 verses 21, it says for us, Kathab emeth, scripture of truth. If we are the truly servants of Lord God the Father in heaven, having the sperm of Christ, we produce in us the character of Christ. And producing that character of Christ by wearing the new man in the terms pertaining to perfect holiness, in the terms pertaining to the spear of truth, which we call as Endikai Sunekai Hosetis Thesalithia. And if you are not performing those things, we need to answerable to the Lord. Dear brethren, life is too short, don't waste it. Time is too short for us, every day is gone. Today, if we can come back and look according to the Jewish time after six, the day is, the day is ended up. The entering into a new day. Thus we can find the resurrection of my Christ on the day of Saturday evening 6 to till to the midnight of Sunday where the Roman times will follow. But we know after 6 o'clock the, the day is ended for the Jewish people. The days are passing by very fast. Time is short. Until how many days you want to be there without knowing the word of the Lord of a God, without performing the deeds of the Lord of a God to the highest. 
having kenos without bona fide gift people love to enter into the pulpits not realizing the true purpose of their life in this church age dear brethren think about these issues life is too short the responsibility laid down upon our shoulders is too large in this church age being under the influence of lord god the holy spirit we have many things to learn we have many things to perform we have many things to do and if the people that who do not love upon these things let lord god help them but we need to be as obedient children of the lord our god as an unprofitable slave that which is our duty to be done to be done and saying to god the father father if you would have been here you would have done better things than us but in our lives we have done that which could be meaningful only for a short time that to in their light in this grace so dear brethren thinking upon these issues we shall come back and continue tomorrow in the same divine fellowship of lord god the holy spirit redeeming some kairos moments in the chronological time of this date we could find some time in the presence of lord god the father to know about these words and tomorrow when we come back as lord god the father leads us we shall learn some more things as it is quite quite essential for us to learn the truth in the power of lord god the holy spirit according to his life on this earth so dear brethren we shall have a word of prayer and we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our head bowed and eyes closed the closing moments have been dedicated to those who are here without christ without hope and without eternal life in order of literally to lord god the father that you believe upon my christ my lord my rock my savior that is the moment itself you shall have the eternal truth this eternal truth for us for very simple believing christ you shall be saved whereas for the believer the greatest matter is to grow up in grace and knowledge of bible doctrine wherewith you shall learn to acquire to possess to know the truth and the truth shall set you free and for the pastor teachers the greatest matter is to carry so thon lagan herald the word in season and out of season because the dharma truma witnesses where you have been called the number one dharma truma witnesses in well in trinity followed by bible in our hands and number two dharma truma witnesses our hearers if there are no hearers dear brother not worry besides nature the and tarang the coastal bear witnesses and what is our work our work is to rightly divide the word of the lord our god no matter however the chips may fall whether they may be hearers or not our duty is to tell the truth whether you may end up talking to your own self and recording in the youtube and putting for the youtube you do not worry your duty is to rightly divide the word of the lord our god whether they may be people watching it or liking it or subscribing it or commenting on it it's none of your business we are answerable to lord god the father and not to men our duty is to rightly divide the word of the lord our god as lord god the holy spirit leads us according to his glory because it is his word it is his bona fide gift it is his will it is his grace it is his glory and we are his workmen since we have been freed from this world we are lord god's slaves and since we are lord god's slaves our duty is to serve the lord of our god as a servant christ our lord of our god set forth a pattern for us in isaiah 53 all the desire of the lord he performed so being faithful imitators or dear children technon believers in christ being his faithful imitators we shall be like christ performing the great will the true will and the highest and the best will of lord god the father to the highest and thus we have been given this grace in this church age and though much has been given for us and much has been expected from us many are the people who have come not to look the truth thus the word in galatians to take many are the children of the word call as bastards rather than the legal ones and thus they are finding today in the present christendom many illegal ones entering into the pulpits not knowing the right power of lord god the father neither the scripture of his word misunderstanding the truths misinterpretation of the truths and leading them to errors because of the failure of exegomai and not having an idea of the right word what we call in the church age besides exegomai the terms pertaining to dispensations so dear brethren we need to understand about these things as we have been given this great grace in the power of lord god the holy spirit to come back and continue to know and to expound that's what he says we are not here to be in align with the works of darkness but rather reprove them a glanco them and that's what a glanco the process to convict them and to make them to realize what they are learning is wrong and thus we need to put them back once again to the will of god the father do not worry it is not you alone that you are working it is lord god the holy spirit operating in you according to his will to do his glory in your lives and thus we need to be faithful enough to carry this burden because it is the lord of a god who is going to take it for on finishing it in our lives so dear brethren 
think over these issues. Life is too short, do not waste it. Do not worry about the softies. Softies come and softies go. We are not here for the work of the softies. We are here for the work of the truth and the great life that has been given for us. We need to glorify it to the maximum by daily performing and doing that which is right and perfect in the sight of the Lord our God to the highest. So dear brethren, think over these issues. Do not let go your valuable time, your precious time. The time that has been given for you is so much precious. You shall not let it go to the useless and worthless things of this life, but rather redeem the time. The time is belonging to God the Father. Redeem the grace of the Lord our God that belongs to God the Father. And tomorrow we are answerable. What have we done with this time? If you are not performing according to His will, we shall waste this time yielding in us wood and stubble which will be burnt off not a reward but if you are using this time for gold silver and precious stones it will be a reward for you and you shall not be ashamed when you stand in his presence for the glorious work bestowed upon your life so dear brethren think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow Infantry Divine Holy Father, what a great privilege it is for us to learn about these words. Father, we pray that we have redeemed some Kairos moments in the chronological time of today's date under the influence of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Father, help us to learn more and more and perform every word according to Thy glory as they were earlier, even as now use us for Thy glory. Search us diligently, Father, and see if there is an offensive way in us, Lord. Lead us in the way of everlasting truth. In Christ's matchless, peerless, gracious name we pray, Father. May Lord God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten and challenge us by this message. Amen.